Hello everyone. Here we will discuss about matrix chain multiplication. We can say this is matrix parenthesization to reduce the number of scalar multiplications. Here the algorithm is uh, considering n number of matrices which is represented matrix 1, matrix 2, matrix n. Here each matrix is having its own dimension. The first matrix is P0 by P1, number of rows and number of columns. The second matrix is represented uh, as a dimension 1 and dimension 2 that is row and by columns. So like that here we are having uh, the our uh, last matrix size uh, uh, p n minus 1 into p n so number of rows by number of columns here we have to determine the multiplication order by applying parentheses between the uh, uh, matrices for minimizing number of scalar multiplications during its computation uh, to compute the two matrices uh, the first matrix a i into next matrix a i plus 1 we need uh, three dimensions here p i minus 1 that means dimension of first matrix for example 3 by 4 and dimension of a second matrix 4 by 5 right so here this is called p i minus 1 uh, this number of rows in the first matrix uh, number of columns in the first matrix and number of rows in the second matrix both are same so it is represented as p i then the second matrix columns is represented as p j or p i plus 1 okay p i minus 1 p i p i plus 1 here how to apply the parentheses uh, between the matrices to reduce the multiplications for example here i am having four matrices the first matrix is having 3 by 5 uh, size or second matrix is having um, uh, five rows four columns third matrix is having four four rows and two columns uh, fourth matrix is having uh, two rows and five columns so how can i reduce the number of uh, calculations uh, that means scalar multiplications when i am applying the parentheses i mean by changing the uh, num uh, multiplication order okay so here i am using just three approach uh, first I am going to take uh, among the four matrices I can multiply any matrix first and I mean uh, parenthesis I can do like this right uh, or I can do a1 a2 a3 so here a2 a3 first then i can use this result to multiply with a4 or a1 like that so we can use different uh, parenthesis approach so here i am going to use first two matrices are multiplied first then result of this one is multiplied with third matrix then result of all uh, three matrices here okay uh, multiplied with fourth matrix so when i am doing this kind of things for this given example i am getting 114 scalar multiplications for example this is the uh, first matrix and this one is the uh, i mean uh, first matrix and second matrix so here uh, 3 by 4 5 is the first matrix 5 by 4 is the uh, second matrix so when you are applying the multiplication you will get this is as a number of scalar multiplications then uh, once you, you have done this you will get uh, the uh, resulted matrix is 3 by 4 okay then this result is going to be multiplied with the third matrix so third matrix size is here 4 by 2 so 4 by so here when you are taking this you will get 3 into 4 into 2 okay so as per the formula here p i minus 1 is 3 p i is 4 p i plus 1 is 2 so that's what is mentioned here okay so now once you have done you will get the size of this matrix will be resulted matrix will be 3 by 2 okay once you got 3 by 2 matrix the fourth one okay so result of this result of this uh, three matrices okay so this is the result okay we uh, we got right so this is the result so this result is uh, appear in the 3 by 2 matrix so this 3 by 2 matrix has to be uh, multiplied with uh, a uh, fourth matrix so fourth matrix size is here 2 by 5 so 2 by 
5 okay so when you are taking this one become 3 become a uh, pi minus 1 2 become uh, pi then uh, 5 become uh, pi plus 1 so that's what mentioned here so when you are applying this method uh, this parenthesis this kind of parenthesis you will get 114 scalar multiplications like that i am changing the approach here you look at that second and third matrix multiplied first when i am applying like this i will get you see first i will get uh, second and third second and third means here i will get 5 into 4 into 2 okay so 5 into pi pi minus 1 pi is 4 pi plus 1 is 2 so that's what i mentioned here after that i will get the resulted matrix is 5 by 2 among these two matrices when i am multiplying 5 by 4 in uh, matrix and 4 by 2 matrix i will get 5 by 2 matrix right so then i am going to multiply with the first matrix okay first matrix size is 3 by 5 so here i am going to uh, multiply with 3 by 5 so when i am doing this two matrix multiplication then i will get the resulted matrix 3 by 2 okay so you see this is pi minus 1 pi pi plus 1 so that's what mentioned here okay 3 3 into 5 into 2 so now resulted matrix is here 3 by 2 then i am going to multiply with fourth matrix fourth matrix is 2 by 5 so 3 by 2 multiplied with 2 by 5 so now i will get the resulted matrix is 3 by 5 so here uh, pi minus 1 3 here pi is 2 pi plus 1 is 5 okay so when i am doing this multiplication i will get 100 is the scalar multiplications like that when i'm doing this kind of uh, uh, parenthesis i will get 160 multiplications as per previous approach so among this uh, which is the minimum number of scalar multiplication 100 is the minimum number of multiplication so to reduce the computational power okay computational working time and power okay so we have to take minimum number of scalar multiplications you see just we are applying the different method of uh, parenthesis that means oper uh, operator of precedence so based upon that we are getting uh, less number of uh, multiplications due to the less number of multiplications we can reduce the computational time okay that is the aim of matrix chain multiplication so here for that the algorithm is first we have to determine the structure of an optimal solution that means the structure is uh, determined by uh, using the uh, parenthesis so different approaches okay so here we are taking i comma j each pair to determine the number of sequences of uh, matrix multiplications we are using the notation to represent the uh, uh, dimension is the p right here uh, already i explained the example in the previous uh, slide so if you have matrix like this you can represent uh, uh, by applying different parenthesis so this is the matrix a matrix j we are going to multiply so we can apply different kind of parenthesis uh, to get the solution that's what given here so here look at that if uh, the matrix 3 and 6 means you look at that we are having matrix 3 matrix 4 matrix 5 and matrix 6 four matrices are there so here uh, when you are uh, multiplying this uh, 4 and 5 you will get uh, um, so a4 a5 uh, 4 5 like this then you are multiplying with a3 you will get a uh, 3 5 so that's what mentioned in this position then a6 so this result will be multiplied with uh, source is also uh, 6 and destination also 6 so then we will multiply this matrix so just we are representing by using the notations here okay if a parenthesis sequence is not giving the optimal solution we have to change the sequence of parenthesis so as i told you in the previous uh, slide we have different kind of parenthesis approach so if any approach is not giving solution then we have to go for another parenthesis method here uh, among that parenthesis method we have to select minimum cost 
to compute the scalar multiplications so here uh, the i value and j value is given here so we have to select the minimum uh, number of uh, scalar multiplications by using uh, 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 intermediate uh, <coughs> uh, matrix size so here i comma j plus m of k plus 1 okay so i comma k and k plus 1 to j so this uh, here we are having the uh, m comma m of i comma j so then product of the dimension of this matrices okay if both are equal i equal to j destination source and destination both are same then uh, i mean row and column row and both are column then it is zero if i is less than j we have to select the uh, uh, minimum value between this two calculations finally we have to use the bottom up approach for example this is uh, the dimension 1 comma 2 matrix of 1 comma 2 matrix of 2 comma 3 so we can take number of rows and a number a number of columns and a number of rows of the two matrices we are uh, reducing here like that uh, here uh, 3 comma uh, 4 and 2 comma 3 so we are finding 2 comma 4 then finally we are reducing into 1 comma 4 so here we are using uh, three for loops one is for i okay ith for loop and kth for loop and jth for loop so it is taking uh, uh, order of n cube is the uh, time complexity here so here for loop we are taking uh, ith for loop right and uh, one more for loop for here uh, to move into the round round columns then here we are updating the each and cell each and every shell uh, that uh, minimum number of uh, scalar multiplications by using this formula. So, uh, the uh, time complexity at the worst case is order of n cube. Thanks for watching. We will see the example in the next video.